Why not Cled? Holy sh! Where are we? I don't. Oh, you prince! My you're a cockroach! No, no, I just got cease. Oh, you see, I ain't stopping. Serenity now! League of Legends is a pretty big game, but it's not a perfect one, nor is it a complete one. There will always be new additions, new champions, but most importantly, new situations you find yourself in. You may be asking yourself, is maining Galio worth it? Is maining Janna worth it? Is maining Riven worth it? No. No, it's not. But there are also other questions you might ask. Champions, counters, items, lanes, but I propose to you a counter question. Why not Kled? Kled. Kled was released right in between Rock Lady and Tree Pedophile and seems to have flown directly under the radar for so many League players. I am not that League player. With a love of murder and stupid dialogue, Kled fit my playstyle and flavor perfectly and after many games with him, mastery level 7 and plenty of opportunities to feed with him in ranked, I ask... Why not Kled? Kled is a champion that relies on killing everybody, and that may include your teammates if you feel like it. But you see, when I first picked up Kled, I thought three things from him. Number one, he has only single target damage without any form of AoE, so he'll be good at killing one guy, but then terrible in team fights. Number two, Skarl forces him to go aggressive at the single time he shouldn't be going aggressive, that being a low health. This pushes his playstyle to be a hyper aggressive person at high health, and an even more aggressive person at low health. And number three, Taka do in fact exist in Runeterra. What a time to be a Yordle. These were Kled's balancing factors. Make it so being conservative doesn't work and aggressive does, and you give him a poor team fight. However, when you actually play a shitload of Kled, you realize, oh no, you can do so much more than that. And with Tacos as my witness, I can explain. First off, counter picks. Yorick walks into a bar. The bartender says, lol, the game passed 35 minutes. Get out of here, you useless Gul'dan copy. It's too bad. Now, Kled is a skill matchup with a lot of champions, but I've only found two champions that could ever whoop my ass in lane. Those were Fiora and Shen, but I barely ever see any Shen players, and Fiora players are generally shunned in the community. Yeah, but I do have a tough time against the two of them. However, there are very few champions I've ever actually struggled against with Clem. This is mostly due in part to his extreme damage of his second bear trap pull, his slipperiness, and his base attack speed steroid on his W. But it's also because of your brain damage lizard. Almost no champion, unless they run Ignite, can burst you down after you lose Skarl before you can get Skarl back. Skarl is extremely easy to retrieve at low levels, and dumb players, which there are a lot of, will go in and constantly give you free courage and getting that cowardly chocobo back is a cakewalk. So I gotta ask, why not Kled? The second thing, the turnaround. Now this is Kled's biggest strength. You want to murder people on Kled, you gotta understand the turnaround. The ability to turn what looks like a losing fight immediately into a winning one, and that's all thanks to Skarl. People will constantly get tricked into a false sense of security and go in on a low health Kled. However, thanks to a nice mini self knockback with his gum and the ability to use vicious tendencies in unmounted form, you can get roughly 60 to 80% of Skarl's meter back in like three seconds at least. And then what do you know, that poor ass Maokai thingy he can shree you to death is now out of spells, has lower health, and all of your cooldowns have come back up. That's another thing people forget too. When Skarl comes back, your Q and E are completely off cooldown. You can use them immediately and oh yes, I plan to. I plan to bear rope trap on a taco you straight to death after you have foolishly tried to burst me down. So I ask, why not Skarl? Then you got team fights. This part was the part that surprised me the most. Most of the time you'll be in solo queue and your team will have the mental capacity of someone who walks into this room. You want to know why I know this? Because I walked into that room over 50 times. 50 fucking times. And I got raped by a horse. You see, Kled doesn't have only single target damage. The difference is that it's high single target damage and he is super slippery to boot. So if you land a bear trap on a squishy target, they better burn some form of flash or dash to get away because with only one or two damage items, Kled can burst down people way too fast. It's most likely illegal. Holy shit, absolutely illegal. Kled one shot, insane damage. My wife left me after this. I'm being held at gunpoint. Someone save me. Rito, please. One time, I walked up to an Ash who already burned their flash, and then lost her dash into a plate of hash, then began to crash into a pile of mash. 
the moral of the story is she died. That single target damage will force everyone to focus you or else their carries die. When everyone focuses you, that's a bunch of people not attacking your carries. And then you will be launched off Skarl and get a decent amount of invulnerability frames thanks to that. Then you can retreat slightly and smack the shit out of a tank to get Skarl back, giving you even more invulnerability frames. And then you can literally go in again like nothing fucking happened and murder someone else. And let's not even talk about if your team is fed. The 11 and 0 Syndra barreling down on your enemy thanks to your ultimate is the kind of porn I'm not a fan of watching. The balls in my face porn. So I ask you, why not tacos? Yeah, taco. And then you got items. I mean, you can build anything on Kled. It's amazing. Does it give you AD? Does it give you health? Does it give you a hybrid of two? Build it. Murder people. Why not Kled? Buy anything. I don't care. Go full tank. Go full damage. Go all crit. Doesn't matter. You're fucking Kled. I understand why Kled isn't used in competitive play very often. The fact that you are only good at killing things and your ultimate cannot be stopped and you can't control your W and if you can't kill things you're basically useless. It makes sense. I get why he's not in competitive. Good players can play around all of these things very easily, but I'm not good. The majority of league players are in bronze or silver. If you want to dumpster fools, if you want to play with my argument arguably be one of the most fun champs in League of Legends because holy shit he is so much fun. If you want to be drunk off your ass, if you want to eat tacos, if you want to ride a retarded lizard, and if you want to kill things and not worry about your team cause fuck your team, you've got trespassers on your property, why not Kled? I am Kled! Hi Major Commodore of the 1st Legion, 3rd Multiplication, Double Admiral, Artillery Vanguard Company! You will respect my 